Hello and welcome. My name is Amulya and you are watching Tube Mint. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create internal links on WordPress website. Okay, so creating internal link is the same. Like the process is the same on any CMS that you're using or or any custom like website that you have. It's just that WordPress makes it easy, like creating links or internal links on WordPress is a bit easier than any other CMS out there. In fact, there are plugins that automate creating internal links on WordPress. However, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create them manually. Okay, manual is always best. When it comes to creating links and serving your customers because you are want to give the better the best user experience so this is my wordpress website i'm going to just demonstrate how you can create links and what are things that you need to keep in mind when you're going to create internal links on your live business sites and blogs so now before I proceed please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and like and share the content as well now so there are one more there is one more thing that you should consider if you are going to build a new website or a new blog so that is basically first you create your style of structure okay uh, so wordpress is not basically by default it doesn't create style structure you will have to customize a few things there are multiple plugins that you can use like this one I've, I've gone ahead and demonstrated how you can create a silo page structure uh, in a video i will leave the link in the description below or you can go ahead and watch that particular video how to create silo pages in wordpress on my channel okay so this is very simple process this is going to work way better than the category tags and blog posts okay and this is going to rank higher and this is basically a physical physical silo structure what i'm talking about this one so this is a parent page and when you click and go to this ch child page you'll see this is a physical silent structure however that's the, not the case with the blog post so okay so instead of creating blog post go ahead and create a page a parent page so that could be a child a category page and then keep posting you know children pages under that particular parent page and that would be a silo structure instead of creating category and pages and that will rank very quickly and easily no matter how new website you have and blog you have so that's the very first thing that you want to consider doing and that's going to be way better than creating this uh, internal link okay just internal link so however this works as well so let's go ahead and create internal links so there are two things that you can do when it comes to creating internal links so the very first thing is you can go ahead and create uh, page fragments okay what are page fragments very simple thing so let me quickly go ahead and edit it and i'll show you what are page fragments and this works when it comes to ranking for multiple keywords google ranks your pages in like component in different components okay so each page will rank for different keywords okay so plugin provides like this one so 
so just go ahead and break your pages in multiple headings okay so but you have to keep something in mind this is heading one by default title is going to be heading one and this should be heading two okay and then you can have multiple subheadings okay oops i need to make it uh, heading like this and if you have something under this h2 go ahead and do like this so this is going to be uh, heading 3 not heading 2 it's going to un going to be under heading 2 so which is going to be oops heading 3 and I'll make sure it's heading 3 okay this is just an example what I'm going to do I'm going to update it and I'm going to quickly show you how you can quickly create page fragments that will rank and break pages in different components basically um, what do you call it content component right so for that there are multiple plugins that you can use so and this is not done manually a lot of people do it but i don't consider it doing manually so i'll go ahead and install a plugin and that's basically table content plugin okay content and there are multiple table content plugins that you can use and wow so use whatever works for you okay lucky wp table content i'm using this one on many websites so i'll go ahead and activate install and activate it gutenberg so this is a gutenberg block ah okay so i'm not sure if they have they are, they seem to be confused here okay so hopefully it's activated no it's not so uh, wp table of content go ahead and click on the settings and depth manual count of heading minimum count of heading so your pages and post must have at least two headings and depth is going to be sixth so each one two three four five six you understand what i'm saying uh numeration so decimal without number completely up to you table content okay that's perfectly fine appearance this is going to how it's auto insert auto insert table of content first pages okay so you want before the heading i will go with after heading it's completely personal choice but i find it a bit annoying so as soon as somebody lands on your website you're trying to you trying to show them i have such content so i keep it just for the search engines not for the users uh, miscellaneous completely go ahead and customize it has a lot of features so i'm not going to go over everything but this does our work i'll go ahead and refresh it and you can see okay so it it it, 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 it creates this content okay so something i did not want like this auto insert after first editing no <laughs> uh at the bottom i'm really sorry i did not wish to go after first heading so i want to go at the very bottom i do not want to be annoying component on the page so and what it does it breaks every heading into sub pages so if i click on here it takes me here and you can see it adds this another layer on the same page this is called page fragments okay so and this starts ranking on google you might have seen this just a jump to something like that 
you can see these are page fragments so this is a way to create internal link this is this is internal link okay this is on the page and the the other way you can create internal link simply go ahead and create internal link page by page post by post and product by product sometimes category by category for this demonstration i'll go over the post and pages i do not have multiple categories i do not have products okay so simple say this is your post so what you will do you will read uh, if you have written it yourself you know where and what you have so what you will do you will go ahead and read everything here and let's say something that you have here remaining essentially unchanged or popularized okay let's say this is the keyword you are targeting this keyword with a different post a different page or this is a keyword or this could be a product that you are selling or service that you are selling so what do you need to do you simply go ahead and select this particular phrase or keyword and then create link give a link to that particular page so that's going to be an internal link so how you do this what I do, I simply go ahead and copy this particular phrase or keyword and then press Control K, okay? And here I paste it. So what it does, it lists the pages and the post and the products as well that have this keyword will appear so in this case the only page that has this keyword is the same testing ads block so what i'm going to do let's see this is a url which is on my local system hello world okay so you see I can go ahead and link that particular page this is just demonstration okay and similarly goes with this uh, so this is how you do you simply go ahead and find a keyword that you're already targeting with a different page post and product and create an internal link to that particular page post or product or service and you do it very like on every page and do not create fake internal links okay google understands it so and other search engines understand the bots understand what you're linking and where you're linking whether it's relevant okay so you will have to be very careful and very relevant when you're going to create an internal link on your wordpress websites so that's it for this video guys if you have any questions suggestion leave in the comment below i will try to answer it asap thank you so much for watching this video bye for now